Hello, Polly's Best for UK here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, December 2019, a different Game Boy game on my channel. As usual, I am using the Super Nintendo with Super Game Boy Adapter to record these videos. So, today's game is Pac Man. So, this is the uh, Namco Pac Man on the Game Boy. So, let's have a look at this. So, you've got one player, two player. We'll have one player to start the game. Now as you can see this is, this is Pac-Man for the Game Boy and I've done an excellent job of getting it onto the small screen. Because of the uh, limitation of the screen size of the Game Boy, this one actually scrolls up and down. Whereas the original coin-up machine would have been a static screen I believe. If I've got that right. So basically the idea of the game, if you didn't already know, um, is to get Pac-Man eats all the food, in this case the dots, and uh, he has to avoid the ghosts. Oh, you booner. So I just went straight into the ghost right now, and uh, yep, so uh, these flashing out ones here are the pills that you can use to make the ghosts run scared, and that you can eat them when, uh, like that, as you can see, 200 points, and then they return to their base, and then they regenerate. So yeah, you basically got to go through the maze, eating all the dots, and, uh, whoa, shit, oh shit. They are a bit silly, they sometimes follow you, they sometimes don't, but I think it's just random uh, paths that they take. They can... Oh, you fuck! So the uh, ghost got me right now. And, uh, yep, so let's try and get all these dots, shall we? Okay, there's not too many dots to get. Luckily, when you lose life, all the dots don't come back, so you can do it quite easily. There we go, done level one. The maze will flash, and then we're on to level two. So you can see that there's like these fruit and stuff that you can collect in the game as well. Uh, on the le uh, right hand side of the screen. Oh shit! Oh, ambushed. Totally got me there. Game over. So yeah, that's uh, Pac-Man. Let's have another go. So yeah, it's an excellent coin-up conversion. They've, like I said, they've really done a good, great job of uh, getting this onto the small screen of the game. But nice little game to play while you're on your train journey or whatever. Here we go. Oh shit, he's coming after me. So if you wanted the uh, arcade experience of Pac-Man but in your pocket, then the, this Game Boy version is a great way of doing it. Okay, here we go. There's no input lag or anything. It, the controls are really good, smooth and precise. Can't expect anything less from a Nintendo and Namco. Here we go. Graphics are simple, but it is based on an 80s, early 80s or maybe even 70s possibly. I think it's early 80s actually. Coin-up machine. And uh, yeah, it really does the job. There's a cherry there. I missed it there. The cherries and stuff will appear throughout the game. Oh shit! Here we go. Oh, you booner! So yeah, that's uh, Pac-Man on the uh, Game Boy. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Very accurate uh, arcade coin-up conversion for the handheld device. Thank you for watching. Goodbye!